Assalamu alaikum friends. Hi there and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another Ramadan series. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing this yummy, it's called a like a turmeric korkaman um, kima palau. And I am going to be sharing these delicious kebabs with all of you guys. Um, on the sides, I made a yummy chutney and a salad and dinner was served. So let's get started. These are the simple ingredients we need to make the kebabs. Tomatoes, green onions, um, green chilies, and you guys can use a little bit of white onion, the regular kind, if you guys want to. Now in my pesto and mortar, I have a whole bunch of coriander seeds with crushed red pepper, and I'm just giving them a nice mix together. Add everything to a bowl, and now add in all your ingredients. I'm using lean kima. I've added the crushed coriander. I've used two types of flours, and I'll have all the ingredients in a list down below. I've used corn flour and besan flour. So like I said, put everything in a bowl, and now I'm gonna add my spices to it. I've added some red chili powder, some salt. I've added in two eggs. As you guys can see, just mix everything up together and place to a side. Now I'm using royal basmati rice, and I'm gonna make this using, this is the rice that I'm using to make our polao. Go ahead and pre-soak that rice in warm water and get a big pot or a pan, something wide that you know that you can make rice in comfortably. Add your onions and make sure they get nice and light golden brown in um, some oil. And here's what I'm gonna go ahead and add right when the onions are ready. Ginger garlic with a little bit of coriander, kima, some tomatoes, and green chili peppers. That's what I'm gonna go ahead and add to this onions right now so once you add them in you want to go ahead and break down the kima um, it's up to you if you guys want like big chunky pieces of the beef or kima you guys can you know not break it down so much but if you guys want little little pieces you guys can break it down um, like i did mix everything up really nice everything should cook together so there's no like odor um, or there's you know just a beautiful zaika and a nice taste now of course we're going to add turmeric or korkaman or korkaman <laughs> um, to give it that really nice um flavor and that yellow really nice color my mom always made this when we were growing up and oh it brings back so many memories after that i've added in some salt mix everything up together and then it'll be time to add in our water my water ratio for um, polaos um, many of you guys have seen this before is for every one cup of rice it's one and a half cup of water so just add in the water, mix very nicely, check the salt at this time, and then what we're going to do is we're going to cover on high flame for about five minutes. When it turns to about this much water, then we're going to go ahead and start to steam this, put it on them, and put it on very low flame and put to a side. In the meantime, this is what the kebab mixture should look like. I poured all the coriander on top. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and heat up some oil, and we're going to start to fry our kebabs. You want to use fresh oil when you're frying anything and you want good results for anything to turn out really, really beautifully and the color to be really awesome. Um, so use fresh, clean oil and make little patties. Drop them into your um, pot or pan with the oil and you should get beautifully delicious kebabs like this. After about 20 minutes, our rice has all steamed through and this is what the yummy palau looks like. As you guys can see, it's all steamy and so perfectly done, mashallah. So our rice is all done, the kebabs are frying up, and dinner is served in no time. So quick and easy to prepare. I really do hope you guys are enjoying this video, friends. If you guys do, please consider subscribing to my channel if you're new and sharing my video and giving this video a big thumbs up and letting me know what you guys think down below. So these are the kebabs. They're all done. Like I said, requires hardly no effort and just minimal time. And I made a yummy chutney to go on the side. I just crushed some green coriander, um, cilantro, green chili peppers, and some mint leaves. Added that to some yogurt. And our chutney was done. I chopped up a quick salad. 
just very very simple and then very casually simply we all enjoyed this i hope and i pray that you guys all will enjoy this video and thank you guys so much for joining me in my ramadan series i hope and pray this will benefit you guys all if it does my friends please do keep me in your duas share with your friends and family and do let me know what you guys think down below you guys can follow me on nas kitchen fun instagram and snapchat for you know more um updates and videos and posts and all the behind the scenes stuff that goes on there so i'd love to have you guys all there and i hope you guys have a blessed second day of ramadan and enjoy with your friends your family and with good health always and you guys are all in my duas always so until my next video tomorrow guys take care enjoy and allah is